Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> anyway, what I really wanted to sum up and voice out, because when a lot of these things happen, we need to express it, you know, in the given time and, you know, it feels right. And I'm in the process of really uh, healing and been really wanting to share a lot of my healing modalities and tools and things I have for solutions for healing, you know, as it's an ongoing journey. But um, I most definitely will be continuing to take more time out for that. In the right time, you know, I plan on sharing a lot of those those tools for healing, whether just through demonstrations or just sharing little things here and there. That's something that um, I'm feeling more called to, you know, as I'm actually <laughs> working on healing and, and um, this situation definitely triggered that. Not to get too much into the whole scenarios that's been happening, but I most definitely in this video want to just call out another individual and get it off my chest and put it out there. So, hola, hola. <laughs> you know, I know you use a lot of my work and my material and actually a lot of personal things that I shared, especially in reference to a video I posted back in December of last year. It was about esoteric ether and going through some footage of downtown with the grid lines, the frequency nets, frequency fences, and sharing something personal that was deep within me that while I was on this journey of discovering this matrix and connecting all the dots on how the moon, the sun, all these different objects in the sky, every one of them that I filmed, whether they're some kind of craft or planetary body, quote unquote, they all have grid lines and they all connect to the grid. Even basically all light connects to the grid. Candles, plasma lights, street lights, even the little plasma lights, the like the, any solar lights, everything, everything connects with these grid lines into this matrix system. And in that video, I shared that I was having these triggered memories of working with these frequency nets and having experiences of helping others get out of that. And thank God I didn't go into more detail and share an experience where my grandmother, my Polish grandmother, <laughs> came to visit me a couple days leading up to my mom's passing and it ties in with those frequency nets but because that would have been cut copied and pasted in one of your presentations so my tie with mermaids and a lot of those beings which I've had <laughs> a mermaid and a mermaid <laughs> I've had a merman encounter and a while ago I said I would maybe um, share that story and possibly in the future I will because I've had <laughs> now a collection of <laughs> different beings and different experiences. All, a lot of them connected, some of them connected with mythology and such. So they much are, they are very much alive <laughs> in this realm with us. So just a reminder, everything that's ever existed in this realm is pretty much still here for the most part, okay? <laughs> every dragon, every monster, whatever it is. So, <clears throat> that's confirmed. Because <laughs> I know that you didn't only just rip off my material <laughs> and add it, you know, so you can have now a new webinar and, um, you know, and such for business ventures. And I guess make yourself look like you've got the puzzle pieces all together. The only thing I would say is it's pretty sad that you even had to rip off the comment section and, and gank the uh, 13th floor movie recommendation. You know, um, you and your, your, uh, <laughs> your little buddy. 
<laughs> Your little buddy, um, what's his name? T-Bone Sours. <laughs> T-Bone. <laughs> yeah, they, um, they definitely ran with that one and, you know, added it to the presentation and, you know, a video short, a couple of video shorts with the spectrums of light, you know, since I posted that too. But yeah, it's pretty sad. That's the kind of level that these people are. So basically, you know, now her, her stick is um, trying to empower women. So I would say she's a pretty big hypocrite considering any leader, a true powerful leader with the essence and power within themselves does not have to thief off of another to achieve that power. Any great leader is authentic to themselves. Of course, we all have to be aware of all these online characters. You know, uh, the truth is a big business right now. It's been that way, and it's just um, kind of been getting worse. <laughs> Everybody has their own discernment. Everybody has their own path to walk. We know we all have our own mistakes to learn from. All I can do is be responsible and continue working on myself and healing and staying true to that. What I, the little that I even looked into this T-Bone character, T-Bone Sours, it did really create a, re a bit of a reaction in me when I was seeing videos made about his unethical services, lack of care for the people that he was giving these energy chakra removal overlay sessions with. You're going to read it all in the comments. It's all there. I'm surprised he hasn't been called out for that when he calls out new agers, the easy ones that are obvious. That's who she uh, rubs elbows with. She's making the circuit on YouTube. You'll see her if you haven't already start seeing her presentations you know it's one thing that you know always looks like have some discussions about the matrix but to come into my realm and start cutting and taking different things personal things and adding them to the um bigger picture of your presentation it's pretty pathetic conclusion i might as well say you know uh what the flock man what the flock is that character i want to mention just a quick message to him and final message is that apparently you call what you did with my material so you can make your like human Wi-Fi video is you call it an epiphany, right? Well, epiphany means something much better and different for me, okay? It doesn't involve obviously taking from somebody else. <laughs> Something I learned from a really great teacher is that everything is stored within our toroidal field. And I'll give you that connection. Our toroidal field is like the tree ring. Everything that has happened in this life and possibly beyond, from the womb on here, is stored like rings in our toroidal system. So no matter whatever you've come from or done or the betrayal you've created, it doesn't have to even mean you know somebody for it to happen. It's all there. It's all in your field. Cause and effect, you know? We all need to be responsible for ourselves and our actions and behaviors. So I don't wish you ill or any of these characters ill. I'm just calling them out, like, be careful. And of course, we gotta continue on. I sometimes stop and reflect, you know, and look at the whole situation and uh, continue healing and working on our goals and, and um, move forward. I think that's basically all I really wanted to say. It might not have been as flowing as nicely as when I originally made the video, but then I, you know, focus on healing and, you know, in the future, near future, I'm going to start um, sharing a lot of really cool stuff that I know that may help many of you out there in one way or another. Of course,
congratulations if you made it this far <laughs> into the video. That means you do care, and I do appreciate that. I do appreciate you um, listening to my voice and try to <laughs> express this, you know, as much as I can. But I, um, I want to thank you guys for listening, and of course, be well, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.